Hi everyone. So now it's time to add the custom phones to our Flutter chat UI. If you know about the WhatsApp, WhatsApp uses the help with Kanye for their custom phones. We can use it, but there is a problem that it is a paid version. We have to buy it first, then only we can use it to our Flutter project. That's why I'm going to use Open Sans custom phones for our Flutter chat UI. Basically, it is a free and you can get it easily from the Google phone site. I'm going to give this link of the Open Science one on a description. Go there and download the family. After downloading it, what you will get, you will gonna get the zip file and extract the zip file and go inside the zip file. Here inside the zip file, you will see a lot of .ttf file are available. The .ttf is an extension of the phones. Okay, we have to use this .ttf file on our Flutter chat UI. Here is a license once. Please read out the license where you can use it and how you can use it. You can get a clear idea from the license.txt. Let's use this open sense fonts on our Flutter chat UI. For that, what you have to do that first you have to create a new folder. Where you have to create a new folder in a root directory, not inside the leaf folder. The name of the folder will be fonts. Now, inside the phones folder, paste the all the .ttf file. Here we have the all the .ttf file. Just copy the all the .ttf file and paste the all the .ttf file inside the phones folder. You can see that I pasted the all the .ttf file inside the phones folder. Why I did it? You will get a clear idea when I will go on a pubspec.yaml file. Inside the pubspec.yaml file, we have a section of the phones here. It is just below the dev dependency and the flutter one. So here we have the section of the phones. Just I'm going to comment it out. I mean, I'm going to uncomment it. And I'm going to provide the path of the all the TTF file. Here, I'm going to use the three font only. The bold one, the italic one, and the regular one. Because most of the app only we use this thing. To use it, just go on a rename because when you go on a rename then you can easily copy the all the exact file name and with the extension that's why i'm going to use it i mean use it that way and copy the exact name and the extension name and paste it here why we are pasting it here you can see that we defined in our set first go on a phones folder inside the phones folder we will gonna get our all the phones okay that's why I created a phones folder over here and that is a thing I mean that that is a directory name inside the phones section okay the first phones we added the second phone we had to add that will be the regular one I'm just going to copy the same thing and paste it over here and just do the indentation very well and here instead of using the open science fold I'm going to use the regular Okay, again, I'm going to copy the exact name and I'm going to paste it over here. Now we added the regular one on our puffspec.yaml file. The last one we had to add is the italic one. You can add the all the phones thing over here, but I'm going to use only this thing. That's why I'm adding here. Now I added the italic one and after adding it, just hit the save and the flutter pubgate will run. And let's add the phones on our Flutter chat UI. And how we are going to add it? Before I'm going to add it, just give the exact name. Here, the Siler one was the earlier one phone's name, but we are using the Open Science. That's why we had to use the Open Science name. And now, again, hit the save and Flutter pubgate will run. Now we can access the all the phones with help of this Open Science text. Go on a main.dart file. When we created a main.dart file, at the time of creating a material app, I provided the theme data one. Inside the theme data, we have the property called phone family. Just provide the phone's name over here. Because I'm using the open sans as a default phone, and now you can see that the phones is changed. If I will going to comment it, then you will see that the phones is earlier one is different. And when I again 
come uh, uncommented and hit the save then the phones of this chat app is changed so this is the way you can add the phones to your flutter project now in the next video we are going to talk about the card the custom card okay so let's work on the custom card in our next video till that don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the like and also share this thing to your friend to get me motivated thank you all happy coding and see you on a next video